Hello, welcome to Banter Radio. I'm your host, what? Edgar J. Hoover, and today I am joined by Ben, Harry, Beth, Ed, and Steve. We need a plan of action. Fight club! Oh we need a plan of action, guys. We really... We okay. don't have one. No, exactly. So we're trying to think of one now. <laughs> okay, right. Peter, here's some banter for you. In Oklahoma, if dogs, if dogs wish to congregate in groups of three or more on a private property, they need to obtain a permit which must be signed by the mayor. What? What was that one before you said? That really funny one. Yeah, in Switzerland, awesome. it's illegal to have own um, one, just one guinea pig because they'll get lonely. That's just, that is mental. In Wilbur, Washington, it is illegal to ride an ugly horse. <laughs> what's not an ugly horse? <laughs> I mean, what's the standards of beauty for a horse? What? In Samoa, Let's... it is illegal to forget your wife's birthday. In New How? York, the penalty for jumping off a building is death. <laughs> <laughs> the punishment for suicide is like, yeah, I don't know, I think it's death. You're like, death by hanging. <laughs> we'll so show you, dead guy. Now think about what you've done. <laughs> yeah. In in Danville, Pennsylvania, all fire hydrants must be checked one hour before fires. You don't know where the fire's going to be. <laughs> What were you thinking? You knew there was going to be a fire in an hour. In Florida, it is illegal to fart in a public place after 6pm on Thursdays. Yeah, these can't be real. These are... These are. Check they're the date on the not. article. Is it like April? Is it first of April? Guys. Harry and Ben, what would you, what do you look for in a horse? What, in like the ugly, the you know, the attractiveness of a horse? The biggest, fattest ass of all time. Wow. <laughs> Could you explain that for us? Why, why, you, why you want that? Well... To be honest, if you're on a horse, the only things people are going to be looking at is either the horse's <laughs> front and you, or the horse's butt and your back. But why bigger? Why bigger the better? So, people will have more to look at. They have to have really thin legs, so it looks really funny when they gallop, because they're like, they're kind of like tripping. <laughs> and where do the hat from their legs go? To the <laughs> Wait, sorry. Is this sorry? So the perfect combination of a horse, according to you guys, is a massive ass and tiny legs. Yeah. But yeah. I think we've sort of gone away from the ugliness factor. What would you say is an ugly looking horse? I mean, famously, you what know, Sarah, we just described would be really ugly. Sarah Jessica Parker. Everyone says she looks like a horse. Um. Would you say she was an ugly horse or an attractive horse? If you saw Sarah Jessica Parker's face on a horse, would you be surprised? No. I don't know. It's like, well, maybe a little bit. It depends on what the horse is doing. Oh. <laughs> Give an example. You should be normal. In that case, then. Horse things, like just looking at you really depressed, like. Um, but if it, if it was doing human things, like what the humans do. What, what would you say a human does, then? Um, sweat. <laughs> let's let's talk about something else. Let's okay. You know, I I really enjoy Carl Pilkington stuff. Um, he basically just complains, and I think that's very funny. So let's have some complaining here. Let's let's do so, a Room okay. One Hundred One thing, okay? So in Room oh, One Hundred One, yeah. right? Give us a topic to like actually do. Room yeah, <laughs> that's good. Okay, okay right. Room One Hundred One. TV. I thought of something. Oh, okay. I just need, I'm going to find you a picture because I know it's not the most helpful. We're going to call it Room 102 because that. Yeah. Uh, like, a no, voice copyright. Uh, <laughs> actually, Room 101 is from 1984, isn't it? <laughs> the book. I thought it was. But anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, but um, what I'd like to put in it is this guy. He's supposed to be a comedian. He's just scary. What the hell is that? <laughs> He's a comedian. No way. But that's a pretty good Look case. At that. What is that? That's pretty good for... So what, what's this guy's name? Ken Dodd. Ken Dodd. So you want to put Ken Dodd inside room 102. Ben, uh, what what would you like to... What, you know, peeve do you have to do with TV that you want to put into room 101? That's an excellent question. I don't really watch TV, so I don't know much about what put actually happens the whole TV there. inside. That's why. Yeah. You don't watch it, you know? Just put it put it in there. Just freaking... For our TV... There's, there's stuff, like, all the most popular t British TV people. I don't know what to call them. It's yep. television, yeah. like Andrew and Deck and all that. Yeah. Put them in a blender, so grind them down. Oh, my God. Put them in a blender, so grind them down. Oh, my God. Put them in a room. 
<laughs> so, Harry, what what do you want to put in Room 102 to do with um, um TV? Uh, to do with TV? Yeah. Bob Marley. Where is this? You want to put Bob Marley, <laughs> even though he's dead. It's not even about TV. Yeah, <laughs> I have something which really annoys me. People complaining about Jeremy I mean, Clarkson. Huh? He's awesome. Yeah, Jeremy Clarkson, he's a really funny guy. He clearly knows what he's talking about. But it's... Okay, so I'm not going to say who it was, but it was a family member who got, who once came in and said, Oh, I'm going to complain to the BBC. Right? Okay, something's happened. Uh, guess what Jeremy Clarkson said? He said that people from Kent were like immigrants. And the, the, the family member had no information about that. He had no, like, sort of... Like, there was no context you, to it. I do you did feel hear like, about what Jeremy Clarkson said, right? The N-word thing. Yeah. The N -word, but he apologised for that. He, it, why would you even say it in the first place? He, he, did, he did do yeah, two no, other no. takes where he didn't say it. I think he, I think we should get to choose, like like we do, which one's the best. We can't vote for our own ones. We've got a scary comedian. Right, yeah. Um, ben chose... TV presenters, isn't it? Yeah, TV. He wants to put in the whole of TV presenters, which is basically everyone. Who wants to put in Bob Marley? And, uh, and then Peter wants to put people complaining about Jeremy Clarkson. I vote scary comedian. I vote because it's the only one actually to do with TV. I vote for Jeremy Clarkson. There were some funny TV presenters. Jeremy Clarkson is a TV presenter, but I do agree with you about people like Anton Deck. They just do annoy me. So Ben, I'm going to vote for yours. Howie, who are you going to vote for? You can't vote for Bob Marley. It, you say that like this is really, like so the biggest be. thing Harry's ever going to do in his life. Come Bring on, Harry. Life. This is the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. I will go with Jeremy Clarkson. No, it's Yay. not people complaining against. It's people complaining against Jeremy Clarkson, not Jeremy Clarkson specifically. But I would have put a bit. You can't put Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> that was the part of it. So basically, you're saying TV presenter. So you go for Ben's one. Yeah. Oh. And Windsor. Well done. So basically, yeah. there's going to be a huge, really <laughs> awkward orgy going on in room 101 with all the <laughs> TV presenters. The only, the only thing they should do <laughs> is just have an orgy. They're the only stuck problem in a room. is, I said they're all going to be putting a blender and then stuffed into a TV, so... <laughs> That's going to be a fun orgy, isn't it? <laughs> Blended up parts. Bits of you everywhere. Oh. Yeah. Okay, next part, uh, next theme. Um, oh. Public, you know? Pub public. You know, in general or something specific? Yeah, just p general people. What annoys you? Harry, do you have anything? Harry. Don't go Bob Marley. <laughs> um, can I choose can Gordon Brown? You can't choose Gordon Brown because he's not just a general member of the public walking around. It's just like slow walkers or, or, or litterers. Just... Uh, chavs. Chavs. Harry, <laughs> what specifically? You're going to have to be one. more specific than that. South London. <laughs> people who live in South London. <laughs> <laughs> you want to the whole of South London into room. Most people live there. Everyone who lives there. I don't like, which Sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. Move on to Beth, I'll come back later. I don't like specifically um, the elderly people who complained about school kids. Oh yeah, we had some on the bus, um, because we're going to exams in the middle of the day. You have loads of old people on the bus now. And um, yeah. there was like... <laughs> Uh, Joe, who is a frequent, he's a pipe lad. He was he was standing there with his bag, and he he took like a second to move just for a woman who's like, and then the woman was like, for goodness sake! And it's like old people think they can just get away with just shouting complaints, yeah, even exactly. though they're they're so impatient. And there was there was a guy who was standing complaining to the bus driver, yeah, about all the kids because it's a bus and there weren't that like there aren't any. Um, what do all these people do in my bus? Yeah, yeah. Get them off here! It's there there, li there literally aren't any um, school buses which go through my town. And so this guy's complaining to the bus driver, and then as soon as this guy gets off, the bus driver turns around and just to anyone there, yeah, he's the annoying one. And it's like, even the bus driver finds it annoying. Yeah. Um, ben, have you thought of one? Yeah, this is not a bit right. I don't like the fact that Whenever I walk around with anybody, particularly in Seven Oaks, everyone who's over the age of 30 looks at me like I'm going to stab them. Seriously? <laughs> Pretty Basically much. Basically, racist people then. Is it's it, not only racist. Do you think people. it is a racial thing? Uh, it's a Seven Oaks. We were at Knoll Park, and um, this is with Luke, Amelia, and Lizzie. Right. And there was a large group of like, uh, <coughs> maybe 40 year olds. They're walking through. And I was talking, and they all looked at me. 
like gave me a good five, three second glance. I looked at them and they like went. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, he's got a knife! And they just run off. <laughs> they should have, like, you should have, like, thrusted your head towards them, like, in that, in that scary look, and they just, like, fall over. You should actually <laughs> carry out a knife, and then see what you happens. Have, like, oh, no, don't do that. Spray or something, spray me in the eye. Oh, <laughs> he was assaulting me. Okay, um, it. mine would probably be slow walkers, because I'm quite a fast walker. And there's yeah, occasion, loads strange. of people, a lot of the time, people in the way, um, just walking. And I'm, I'm like, I want to I wanna walk quickly, but you're Jeez, in... The... Everyone with a crutch is going to hate you right now. Yeah, I know. I'm a fast walker and I don't like Actually, slow walkers, what? but yeah, I really hate South London people. <laughs> 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 All right, let's have our votes. Um, <laughs> right, right, so, so let's sum it up. Do you mind if I just quickly sum it up? So yep. that's slow walkers from me. Beth is old, pe- uh, complaining old people. Ben is people thinking he has a knife, and <laughs> Harry is uh, Harry chooses the whole of South um, London. Well, I think that Ben is very specific to himself. Yeah. So he's selfish. Um, <laughs> he's trying to be selfish. Yeah, he's trying to be selfish with this. Exactly. Uh, Harry is God, ben. a bit over the top. Yes. Some people are nice. <laughs> <laughs> and well, so I think I'm going to go well, with Peter's because it's fair, quite fair, most fair. relevant it might I said Chavs and Peter was like you have to be more specific and I thought like South London is like the most <laughs> <laughs> specific so that's being racist that's so there my point is justified now vote for me no. <laughs> I, no I still agree with Peter because I hate right. I'm like walking to my bus and I, if they don't hurry up, I will be late for my bus and have yeah. to wait half an hour. But there's such worse people, like people who walk past you, like shoulder barge you just because they think they can. That's what South Wales. Right. Oh, right. like. um, I mean, is it South Wales? I, I do see your more, point. Um, I do see your point, but I'm afraid I am sticking. Anyway, yeah, okay. I agree. With, I actually agree with Beth on this one as well. Old people complaining, old people. Um, ben, who are you going to vote for? Peter. Yep. Slow walkers is. Kind of a broad concept. Someone might be in a wheelchair. No, no, no. If it, you know what? No, no. If they do have a <laughs> reason for it, then, if they're in a wheelchair, they're not walking at all. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not slow <laughs> walkers. Maybe they're like trying and failing. No, no, no. Really I, if they do have a reason <laughs> for like it, I understand it. I, I, if they do, but it's, if it's able-bodied people, just sort of, and even old people who are just walking so and they have a reason <laughs> for it. They have a reason for it. I don't mind about them. Okay, they got their arms more. spread out. And Right, um, so, Ben, who are you voting for? Uh, Harry. Yes! What are you... <laughs> right, you want to get... I really, okay. I don't really like any of the options, so, so I guess... If, if Harry, who are you voting for? How fun does it seem like the most likely of the candidates where I'm going to get killed, so... Uh, but who doesn't have a vote yet? Oh, don't vote for Ben, because they're not wins. <laughs> What? Don't vote for Ben just to make it. People get left out, and then that's not fair. <laughs> no, no. Depends on how it works. <laughs> um, in which case, I will vote for. Um, Look inside your heart. Oh my god. What do you really feel? Ben. No one's been a. Uh, no one's going in room one or two. Um. Okay. Now it's your <laughs> you wild card. Together. It's your wild card now, so you're allowed to choose anything that annoys your pet peeve. Um, okay, has anyone got one that they want uh, to choose? I really want to say chaps again. <laughs> no, no, you always try to put something. Sal- really, really annoy me. <laughs> no, you're not putting the whole of South London in there again. <laughs> no, he's going to do North-, North London this time. Oh, fine, they could just go screw themselves. Uh, what not- I, I, you know what I hate? You know what I hate? I'll tell you mine. Yeah. I'll go first. Michael... Gove. Yeah. Just Michael Gove, who is the, uh, if anyone doesn't know, the Minister for Education in Britain, and he's, yeah. he's come up with quite stupid things. Okay, Ben, do you have anything? Uh, right. I don't... Oh, okay. oh. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people who blow things over proportion. Like, like what? For like example, Peter. there are the people who when you ask them to do something like maybe, oh, can I sit down, please? Because there's no space left on the bus. So I'll take it really offensively. So I'm getting up and making oh. heads back. <laughs> so I'm getting up and <laughs> making a big deal out of it. So you have no choice but to either not sit down or suddenly get into a fight with him. Bad internet. Oh. <laughs> oh no. that is a, that's a point. <laughs> 
Okay, that's we'll right. probably buy it. No, 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 I actually quite like that. Okay. That is the biggest personal problem first. Yeah. It disru- <laughs> it dis- for me, it disrupts um, everything. Like, I can't play with you guys. I can't talk to you guys. I can't mm. do anything apart from, like, draw. It's which I must say, I don't like. Like. Social life. <laughs> I'm going to tell the Amazing story. Um, so, when we nearly we got arrested for having a, an imitation gun, those people called the police on us because, you know, we had a camera. Uh, we had a camera out. And but we had this really quite realistic looking fake gun, and they called the police on us. And then Ben got handcuffed, and he was nice. <laughs> so the police officer chose not to to handcuff him. And then we got talked to, and we got searched. And then we didn't have to go to the police, and they took the gun. So I ha- I want to put those people in because you know they didn't need to phone up the police. So I think out of all the people, those people have annoyed me the most in my life. And that was so only, those people that was only in the- January. Uh, Beth, um, yours was what was you, Michael Gove. Beth was Michael Gove. Um, Harry's was bad internet. Ben's was over exaggerating people. Over exaggerating people. Now, but like, and uh, mine, we'll m- mine was those people who called the police on us when we had an imitation gun. But we did have a very obvious cameras. Obviously, they're filming. We're obviously under eighteen, so it doesn't really matter. So shut up. Okay. Gove. Okay, who's voting? Okay, uh, Gove. Beth, who are you voting for? Um, I must say I might go with Harry because yeah, I it, it kills my life having no. bad internet. Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, ben, go. You gonna vote for Govey? Uh, go Harry, go. I'm gonna vote for the annoying people that got you nearly got you arrested. Oh, thank you. Thanks for that. That's quite uh, right. Huh? That's quite right. right. That's that's very good. that's good of you. Um, I know. Uh, that's why I did it. Uh, <laughs> Um, apparently, <laughs> apparently they could have pulled an armed squad on us. Well, that's a lot more. Fun. I don't think. I th- I think that could have been a scare thing. But I mean, let's not. Let's not really. We no, won't. Yeah. Maybe if we do a, do end up doing a second um, banter radio, we could go over that and we could tell a story. Maybe we shouldn't even include anything about the police then. Well, I, I don't. Think it police wasn't, could... No, it wasn't the police fault. Yeah, I, it was people. Who if ran anything, it. the police yeah. were the nicest the police, people. That police officer police was so. He was. He was actually a really nice guy. I mean, he answered. He wasn't like annoying about it. He was. He didn't. He, he, he said he could have. He was in his legal rights to uh, to take us to the police station, and he didn't. So obviously, I mean, he's got sense, and I mean, yeah. Uh, are we yeah, not? We, it's not uh, okay. And I will <laughs> vote for. I, I'm not going to vote for those the people. Yeah, Govey, Govey, I'll vote for Govey. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting Michael Gove. He's in. just so annoying, though. Yeah. <laughs> so this episode is dedicated to to Michael Gove. Um, Michael Gove, go die every Monday. Too. For those who don't like, him, he <laughs> shouldn't be in charge of education. Yeah. Put That's someone, all I'm gonna say. Put someone fun in charge. You know, someone like you know what? Eric Pickle. I think someone like you know, Stephen Pickle. Fry. Yeah. Eric Pickle should be the new education minister. <laughs> I don't think he's even. I'm gonna look it up. Is is Eric Pickle even in, uh, an MP anymore? Oh, Eric, he might have been fired. Might, like, not fired. Voted out. Yeah, yeah, like, by the way, guys. By the way, guys. <laughs> uh, re- remove Michael Go from office. That petition has. 125,845 signatures okay. and that they need I think it's 100,000 for it to actually oh really like be looked at yeah but at. those those petitions aren't necessarily like yeah. actually nice. like if if they reach a goal it, it happens because I mean to be honest you could put anything you could put like banned pizza and it could get the amount of votes yeah. you would that pizza wouldn't be banned it's just like it's I know, but they had that thing where it said voting for Jeremy Clarkson to become um, prime minister, and and the uh, the government actually released a video where they had they um, showed uh, like had the camera going around, you know, all the pictures of the previous prime ministers, you know, Margaret Thatcher, Tony Blair, it's and they went to Margaret, like. and it went to um, to Jeremy Clark, a picture of Jeremy Clarkson, and they got accused of wasting um, taxpayers' money, which I mean is true. Um, anyway, Beth, if you do send me that link, I will put it in the description of you know Banter Radio. What, the thirty-eight? De- yeah, okay. Yeah, who do you think? It, you know, well, let's let's talk one? about this. If you had to choose a celebrity to be, and we're going to vote for this as well. If you had to choose a celebrity to to be um, head or the minister for education in England, who would you choose? This is like a reverse 101. Well, yeah, yeah. As in, like, it's someone who you want 
to be Minister for Education because okay. we have oh we put God. we've put Govey in into room one hundred one room one hundred two. He's not he's not coming out there, so he can't be Minister for Education. Peter. Peter. Uh, hey Peter, <laughs> I think I've got an answer to your question. Okay, who who do you think? Ben? You guys know Terry Cruises. Um, have you guys seen the old Spice adverts? Oh, yes. The newer ones where it's like the guy going. Ugh. <laughs> You're gonna put him in charge of, the, of British education. Does, it's freaking hilarious. Yeah, that be, it would be funny, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> there would um, be a reason that he wouldn't give a crap on what happened, so it would just stay as it was. Okay, um, Harry, who are you gonna go for? I think someone like I mean, a serious answer. <laughs> Stephen Fry, he's a pretty he, he knows stuff. Yeah, he's an intelligent he's guy. Good. He knows crap. He's he's in it. He's in the kids. In with the kids, you know the kids. You know, they, they all, they're all, he's all cool with them. Yeah, I, I, yeah good. actually, no, I'm going to Definitely better than Gobi. I know, I know it's like probably a joint answer. Oh, is it this guy? Well, are you going to agree with me, Beth? Yeah, I'm going to, uh, yeah. I think this should oh. be a joint answer. Ashley, two votes. Ashley, um, no, Stephen Fry just come from, from quite an upper class background. Uh, that might be a problem, but uh, maybe. I, don't, I think if we were talking about the leader of the country... I think I'd choose Boris Johnson because he's the most down to earth. No way. No, <laughs> Boris Johnson. No, seriously. He's, no. He's, okay. he's funny. Mm. He's down to earth, but he's like still a political <laughs> I don't think you should put <laughs> Boris Johnson in, in charge of the, you know, the, like the fifth Where? most powerful country on the planet. I, I don't think he's. No, I, think I, I think he's a bit too silly for that. Anyway, yeah. So, I mean, Stephen Fry wins that. So, congratulations, Stephen, if you're watching. Um, Wait, you have our vote for becoming vote? Minister hey. of Education. Huh? Why? I didn't even get to choose. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Harry. I was going to... Is Kim Jong-un a bit of a celebrity? Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. Kim <laughs> Jong-un. <laughs> I love how no, no one actually remembered that but from Harry. Oh, my God. Like, uh, Kim yeah, Jong-un is our life. But we've just let down the whole of your, na your nation. Yeah, but... I think I want to quickly mention the film, the interview. Have you have you guys seen the the trailer for this? Yes, yes, it's so yeah. funny. It's a film it's where um, James yeah. Franco and Seth Rogen are trying to kill Kim Jong Un, and it looks very funny. Um, I, I think we, we should we really, we definitely should go see that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's. I'd love to go see it. That'll be a, a pipe bomb family outing. Um, have you I'll seen the, the trailer for that? Um, Harry and Ben. I'm watching it now. Be quiet. Okay. Yeah, the reason I choose Terry Crews is just watch this. <laughs> Why does this make him good for the minister <laughs> of education? He's still be better than Michael Gove. <laughs> <laughs> I just find him really funny. I like the idea that um, this ben, dance makes ben, <laughs> makes yeah. him better than Ben. I don't want to be racist, but this is the blackest thing I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, what did we learn today, thank, guys? Thank you for joining us, everybody. We'll see you yep. next week. Bye bye. <laughs> on, on BBC Four, <laughs> like BBC, your videos. Um, <laughs> watch us on uh, BBC Four <coughs> next week at nine o'clock. Um, oh, oh, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> next week we'll be. <laughs> next week we'll be having special guest Cameron Diaz um, on the show. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> What are you? Uh, Why uh, are you? Uh, okay. Are we dying again? Uh, sorry. Do you want to? He's just deliberately coughing. <laughs>